Bernie music blaring. Sounds like the boys are up and about ready to go this week. Uh, yeah, we've like we've had a, a shortened week because we've got a six day turnaround. Um, we had a pretty good session on Monday just going through our detail um, and today uh, was all about trying to get some intensity in training so yeah the music's in there in the gym at the moment. A uh, 6-2 split on the bench, like, is that just to sort of match that physicality they bring or? Uh, yeah the majority of their game comes through their forwards so um, a big forward pack probably the biggest forward pack in the competition or one of the biggest at least. Um, pretty dominant with their scrum and their maul and their ball carries and we want to make sure that we give uh, our guys an opportunity to empty their tanks um, and then we've got other guys coming on hopefully you know for the back end of the game to bring a bit of energy. How big is it getting slips back? I think it was obviously pretty close but to have him back ready to go? Uh, yeah slips has been training well so went through a rehab program and um, got through everything uh, last week quite well, trained really well last week and um, he's keen to get out there um, and we're obviously uh, happy that he's out there. He's um, one of our most experienced players and you need experienced players in finals footy so it's, yeah it's very good to have him out there. What does he bring to that scrum? He certainly gives confidence to uh, the other front rowers and um, understands you know the pressures that come in the scrum and uh, the challenges that that um, front rowers have, I think he, he sort of has that ability to fix those challenges on the run, which is what we're going to have to do this weekend. One of those guys coming off the bench, Jerome Brown, like, how much do you get out of a guy like that, the impact that he can bring? Uh, yeah, all those guys coming off the bench, so Luke Reimer, Jerome Brown, Nick Frost, uh, and our front row changes. Um, we're expecting a fair bit out of all of those guys, so we've, we've picked a team, um, obviously, to combat um, the forward power that the Blues have, but we also have pick guys um, on the reserves bench that we think will come off the bench to add a lot of impact in the game. Jerome's impact on this group and uh, I suppose the club in his time here, like how valuable has he been? Um, yeah, Jerome's, I mean he's a warrior, he's uh, one of our best ball carriers as a forward. Um, he's one of our best tacklers. Um, he. He's pretty good over the ball. He, he creates um, a lot of chaos around the breakdown. Um, he's got really good skills as well. This will be his 50th game for the Brumbies um, and in Super Rugby, which is uh, pretty phenomenal. And um, yeah, he's one of those he's one of those players that uh, the other players love playing with. Um, this is a bit of a familiar story now. The Brumbies having a great season at home and then going away. To New Zealand opposition in the semi-final yep. coming up short. How much motivation is there to make sure there's not a repeat of last year? Um, yeah, it's not looking back on last year. It's um, it's a motivation to to win every game. Um, so we've been over to Auckland this year already, and we didn't have a a very successful day. Um, so we've learned some lessons from that. Um, we're also on a bit of a roll. Um, in terms of our ability to win games. I thought our game on the weekend was pretty much spot on. First half, um, one defensive lapse, a um, few discipline issues um, around the scrum and um, the breakdown. But outside of that, it was a pretty complete game. So, you know, we've been building all year to try and get our best performances in the finals and um, we're looking to take it a step further um, compared to last week where um, a few things hurt us and we let ourselves down. We want to make sure that we're a little bit more clinical in all aspects of our game this weekend. I guess the mentioned scrum is going to be um, a big decisive factor in the game. And there have been some issues with the scrum in, you know, in recent weeks. Do you, are you confident that the boys will have it turned around and, and be able to match it with the blue? Uh, we've worked pretty hard. I think having James Slipper back in the team is certainly strengthening our prospects at scrum time. Um, they've had an injury to their captain, second rower, who's um, pretty integral to their scrum. Um, so we'd like to think that we're going to have at least parity on the weekend. Um, they were re-signing. How much, of that, how much of a boost does that give to the team? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a number of guys um, who 
have been in contract negotiations for a while and Noah's one of them and yeah we're absolutely wrapped that he's he's staying with the organisation. He's been an outstanding player for us this year and um, he's certainly put his hand up for higher duties and I think uh, we'll see that at the start of the international season and um, yeah he's similar to um, Jerome as we were talking about before. Noah is someone that gives a lot of players around him confidence. Um, he's got a really good handle on the way that we want to play and um, he's got a really good skill set for our team.